So there's 16 kits in the EC10M console. Uh, each kit contains four unique sounds. For the cajon, two uh, triggered sounds, one for our bass frequencies and one for our higher frequencies. The other two sounds are basically where we'll be looking at in function number three for the pad pedal function. There is a trigger in uh, option, so you can put some samples and some sounds in. I haven't tried it yet. I will definitely make a video for you guys when I do get to it, but at this moment, I have more than I can handle with the sounds that's built into the EC10M. It's a really great selection. Uh, I actually was part of making the final decision on the sound selection and developing this pedal, so I'm pretty proud about it. And uh, it means that I could put in the sounds that I think are most appropriate for the modern day cajon player. Um, cool, I'm gonna give you guys just a few quick examples of some of the sounds, not all of them, but just some of them, so you can just have a little listen, because I'm sure you guys are all very curious about it. Another really cool sound, uh, quite useful as well. There's a lot of them, really. trigger sensor inside this is absolutely amazing and very accurate. It responds to my playing uh, like I normally play. I don't need to adjust anything of my playing or anything of my um, technique, which is really cool. So I'll give you guys a, a little bit of an example. I'm really not moving my hand that much and still the trigger senses when I'm uh, getting a bass note out or a higher note, which is it's just absolutely fantastic. I'm really happy about it. And it gives me all the freedom to express myself as I usually would, but just gives me a lot more options. Now let's take a look at option and function number three of the EC10M Cajon console pedal from Roland. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. This thing is freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> 